Hi there. In my last video, I talked about purging. Now it's time to think about what are you gonna do with those giveaway piles? So today I'll cover tag sale versus estate sale. With a tag sale, you do all the work. You organize and display the items, you price the items, you advertise for the sale, which includes anything from putting signs up on telephone poles around town to promoting on social media. Some people still use newspaper ads. Next, pray for good weather because tag sales are often outside. And then on the day of the tag sale, be prepared to barter because it's fascinating to me, but people will take a $1 item and barter to try to get it for 50 cents. Yikes. So after the tag sale, you may have some items left over. Then you decide, what do I do with those? It usually means a ride to savers. Now, tag sales are an awful lot of work, but you do get to keep all the money yourself. Now, if you hire an estate sales specialist, they do all the work. They do the pricing and the displaying and the organizing and the advertising. And they often have a client list that they email to to promote the tag sale, which really has value because you're promoting it to people. That's what they like to do, right? They like to go to estate sales. Now, an estate sales specialist may have it for one to three days. And then when it's over, they do the cleanup and they often take the items that haven't sold with them. Now, the cost for this service is anywhere from 30 to 50%, but I have been told that in spite of paying that amount, homeowners often do better with an estate sales specialist than they do having a tag sale. But that's a decision you make. Are you a do-it-yourselfer, or are you someone who prefers to have someone do the hard work for them? If you need any recommendations, or if you have any questions, contact me. Till next time.